So first of all, I'm just at zoom.us. I'll put the link to this site down below. I'm just gonna sign up for the free account. You can see it's right here. But before I do that, I just wanna show you under the plans and pricing the free account uh, to make sure this will work for you. You can see there's other options. But with the one I'm going to do today, the free one, uh, host up to 100 participants. And this actually works for uh, any time I've used it for uh, teaching online. This has worked and had everything I needed. And I hadn't had to go, go up and increase uh, what I need. But uh, take a look at some of the other options there if you de do need more. So I'm just going to go ahead and get logged up, sign, sign up. It's free here. Just click on that. I'm going to connect with my Google account. Uh, I like how easy it makes it to do that. So I'm just going to... Uh, click on here you can see you can sign up with Facebook also but I'm gonna sign up with Google and I'm gonna pick uh, one of my accounts here to join in I'm gonna go and create the account because I have to create the account with zoom and that's how easy I've created my account uh, now right in front of you and I'm all ready to kind of start showing you some of the features and start to set up uh, hosting a uh, class Right before I go ahead and host a meeting here, I just wanted to point out, you can see that there's some plugins that you can add with Microsoft Outlook plugin and a Chrome extension that you can add to it. Now the other thing I just wanted to point out, is this works on your phone, you can download the app for Zoom and you can access it that way so people can join in a lot of different methods. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and host a meeting and you can see I have some choices here with video on, with video off and screen share only. Now I'm going to do with video on. If this was my first time uh, putting this on my computer, it's going to download and you're going to have to install, but I have it on this computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and it should open up here. I'm just going to go open Zoom meetings. And like I said, it would be a download if uh, if you haven't had this installed prior. And then it has my uh, just my from my hook to my Gmail account to grab that picture. And I'm going to join with computer audio. You can see where I can run a little test, and I have uh, I can automatically join audio by computer. But I'll just join with computer audio here. So at this point right now, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, start video at the same time so you'll be able to see uh, me on this one so there I am I'm going off my uh, Brio Logitech and I can enter into full screen uh, I have the green screen behind me just because that's how usually I have stuff set up uh, that's why you're seeing it like that but as I hover down you get to see uh, some other options that I'm going to go through and show you uh, we're going to start with inviting people because this isn't much of a class without having other people there Okay, so before I uh, just get started with inviting people, I just wanted to point out uh, this little arrow here. If you do have multiple cameras, you can switch between the cameras right there or the same thing with your microphones and just click either of these to turn them on or off. But let's go ahead and invite some people in or show you how to invite some people in and it's quite a simple process. Go ahead and click on the invite here. And what you can do here now, uh, you can go with the default email, Gmail, or Yahoo mail here. But what I like to do, uh, I just go ahead and copy the URL of this meeting. So if I go copy uh, what it does there, and then I can go with whatever email, I can write an email and then it paste this link in and then when they click on this link they'll join but do remember there is a meeting password so this will make it a little bit more uh, secure uh, that to enter the meeting here that they will be able to have to have to get in there too so that's how you would get people in and when they click on the link and join the meeting you're gonna see uh, them come into here where you can manage them so I clicked on the manage the participants here and you have some options right away if you look around you can see um, how I can hover over myself I could mute it if I wanted to I have some more options I can rename uh, but I can go ahead and click on that and down here if I had everybody on here so as I get more people in this room I get a list of different people and I can quickly mute all or unmute uh, because you might not want everybody especially when entering the room talking at once but do pay attention to this more down here because with this more uh, you can see we can mute participants on entry so their mics are turned off which is kind of a handy uh, feature to have but go through and uh, and pick the ones that you want to kind of 
make sure you're managing the room that you want and especially if it's the first time for students coming into this environment uh, where you can kind of just make it uh, a better experience for you and for them too so that's how you invite the students and how you can quickly manage them when they're there and even before they get into the online room so I do love how easy it is to share your screen inside of Zoom. So if I go down here and look at share screen, and I'll show you kind of the advanced options in a moment, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click on share screen here. And I have some options. So you can see, I'm just gonna move back over to basic. I have all these different windows opened here. Um, if I wanted to share just the monitor of me uh, here, I have invite some people in and it's quite a simple process go ahead and click on entry so their mics are turned off which is kind of a handy uh, feature to have but go through and uh, and pick the ones that you want to kind of make sure you're managing the room that you want and especially if it's the first time for students coming into this environment uh, where you can kind of just make it uh, a better experience for you and for them too so that's how you invite the students and how you can quickly manage them when they're there and even before before they get into the online room. So I do love how easy it is to share your screen inside of Zoom. So if I go down here and look at share screen, and I'll show you kind of the advanced options in a moment, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click on share screen here. And I have some options. So you can see, I'm just gonna move back over to basic. I have all these different windows opened here. Um, if I wanted to share just the monitor of me uh, here, I have 